Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a full day of eating, what I'm eating to lose body fat and also build muscle and it's vegan. So I'm going through a little bit of a body recomposition phase at the moment, just back in Dubai, getting settled into routine and we're kind of keeping my food at maintenance, if not in a slight deficit, just to tighten up after I went to Greece. Um, so I'm going to take you through what I'm having. It is definitely time for breakfast, but I'll just update you on what I had so far this morning. This morning, I woke up around 5 a.m. By 6, I had a decaf protein coffee. So basically salted caramel protein, a little bit of soy milk, and I had that with a decaf uh, espresso pod. And then around 9 a.m., 9.30, I went and actually got a caffeinated coffee. Um, if, I, if I pull the caffeine trigger too early in the morning, it ain't great for my focus or for my training session. And now, it's actually quite late. Um, it's about midday. Usually I'd have my breakfast around 11 a.m., but I've been, I've been busy. So now I'm gonna eat my breakfast, which is some overnight oats that I've already prepared. And these ones are delicious, so I'm excited to show you. Hold on a second. I've got to do the fit check before we talk about breakfast. Look how cute this is. I bought this skirt and this top from Cotton On in Dubai Mall. It's giving tennis. Maybe I should start going to paddle lessons. I think that'd be fun. Anyway, breakfast. Base of the overnight oats is always meal prepped. We've got that in here. So here we've got oats with some salted caramel protein, soy milk, chia seeds, flax seeds. Oh, I forgot the banana. And I'm gonna add a banana on top of this. We've got a sad looking banana. It's all right, I still love you. Um, got some fresh ones here, but this boy needs to be used up. Okay, here we have it. Banana, blueberries, overnight oats. Teddy and I, we're gonna sit and we're gonna continue watching Chris Williamson's 2.5 million subscriber Q&A. Isn't that right, Teds? Do you want some? There you go, buddy. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's a no. No banana. Okay, it is time to go and train. So, I need my intra workout. We're gonna look in the gym cupboard. Creatine, what else do I need? EAAs. Um, oh, you know what? I'm not tall enough in my own apartment. I've literally just had to buy this thing. Um, this really adorable little stool because <laughs> I'm just too short to reach the top of the cupboards. There we go. She's now got a little stool so I can get my car powder out. I'm actually gonna put it in one of these. I've ordered some more of these cute little jars to put my car powder in so I don't have to jump up that high to freaking make an intra workout drink. Uh, oh, what am I forgetting? Electrolytes. Um, electrolytes, because you wanna be well hydrated and you need your different minerals to actually get hydrated. Cool, let's make it. Don't at me for drinking out of plastic bottles. This is how things work in Dubai. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna have 15 grams of Cyclic dextrin. I like to have a little bit of carbs during training. I don't need to, but I like to. And if you go and read some of the research about carbs mixed with protein, or EAAs in this case, during training, it actually produces an increased anabolic effect. That's good protein. For anyone who wants extra muscles. So that's 15 grams of carbs, and then 15 grams of EAAs. Especially for us vegans, you know? We're trying to do whatever we can to protect our muscle tissue. Why such a baby scoop? To anyone who wonders whether you should or you shouldn't take creatine, definitely don't take it, it's basically a steroid. Steroid, after 20 years, that's a bad motherfucker. Just kidding. Yes, take creatine, doesn't matter what time of day you have it, preferably intra, um, and have five grams every single day. Uh, you could do a load in phase, I would recommend a loading phase. You might as well saturate your creatine stores as soon as possible, but you don't have to. Loading phase might be somewhere between 10 to 20 grams of creatine for three to five days. And then you're gonna feel swole. And then finally, one of these little electrolyte tablets. And we are ready to rock and roll. Now in here, we've got <laughs> uh, raspberry lemonade, fruit burst, and lemon flavoured electrolyte, this is a shit mix of flavours and I really don't like drinking stuff this sweet but I find it really hard to get unsweetened 
cyclic dextrin um, and probably need to get an electrolyte to match this. But anyway, I'm chatting shit now, I should probably go and train. Using that wide angle on the iPhone for the last shot just made me look very, very thick. I'm not that big in real life, I promise. Anyway, it's time to get changed out of this girly Tennessee outfit to get to the gym. We're more on a, a shorts thing today, but I'm still feeling girly. Maybe we'll go for pink. And I am trying a new gym. I'm going to Warehouse Gym in old Al Alcoos here in Dubai. Could try out a couple of new gyms, but maybe I need my uh, my Do Not Disturb hat so that I am not disturbed and I get the first impressions right. I think that'll do. Okay, we opted for the Define Fit. White bra, pink shorts, pigtails, no hat. Very girly, isn't it? But if you feel good, you feel confident, you train good, most of the time anyway. <laughs> got back from the gym and look at this cuteness overload. Three ginger babies under bed. Yes, hello buddy. Oh, I've woken one of the beasts. After all of that chaos of getting the intro ready, this idiot left it. It's over here. Idiot. So I've got an extra 15 grams of carbs to consume somewhere else in the day. I'll put this in the fridge, just use it for tomorrow, but I also need to drink my creatine. Anyway, it's time for the post-workout meal. Very, very late compared to usual, but I'll show you what that is. And here we have it. We've got vegan pesto, tofu, pesto, tofu, balsamic glaze, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, and then some fresh avocado. To anyone who remembers Vine, you will remember that one, I'm sure. Fresh avocado! So yeah, this is largely, oh wait, this is not the final part. There's two parts this post-workout. I'm just gonna have literally 150 grams of Alpro yogurt. 10 grams of protein powder whisked in to bump up the protein content a little bit more and some frozen raspberries. So this meal is only 25 grams carbs, 40 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat. So largely pro-fat, post-workout, I quite like it. It means that like I feel really satiated afterwards and I can have more carbs in the evening. I've never eaten like this. I've usually eaten loads of carbs post-workout, but Tom has me doing pro-fat post-workout and I like it. And this is breakfast for lunch, so we're winning. I'm gonna let you guys into a YouTuber's secret now. Because when it gets to this time of day on a full day of eating video, all you wanna do is eat your food and go to bed. It's past my bedtime. I've been working late. My coach is gonna tell me off because I promised him that I would get eight hours of sleep per night. It's gonna be seven, it's close enough. But I just set up a beautiful new client, Annie, welcome to the team. Um, so, I've been working a little bit later. The good thing is, it's a Sunday and I'm meal prepped. So, in here we have got, oh, 
I even remembered to put my kimchi on top of my meal. To those of you who don't know what kimchi is, it's basically fermented cabbage. It sounds gross, uh, but it's really good for your gut health and it stops you. More fermented foods means less bloating, better digestion. Um, but we've got like a red lentil, um, red lentil pasta salad, which is gonna be nice and easy for me to get down at this point. Look, even Leo is fuming. Poor kid's starving. He knows that up here, this is the cat cupboard. We'll eat all together, son, I promise. Um, so, <laughs> I'm really tempted to see if he wants to smell the kimchi. Oh, Teddy's come to join as well. Boys, it's not ideal for you to be here, you know that, whilst I'm trying to get the food ready. Smell? Oh, oh, they're both shooketh. Yeah, imagine how things smell for me when I've eaten a lot of that. Teddy's ears is going mad. Try that again. <laughs> no, okay, sorry, son. I don't want to upset you. Anyway, let's get this uh, pungent kimchi added to this salad. Oh, and by the way, um, that pink thing is hummus, beetroot hummus. And then this is like little soy chunks, just dehydrated soy protein that I've rehydrated in some salty water. And now I'm going to add a little bit of balsamic on top of this as well. Okay, here we have it. Dinner for a family of four about to be served. Boys, are we ready? Oh, you you knocked the tripod over, you silly. Ready? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, one, two. Tilly, this one's yours. This one right here in front of you. You silly, you know that. Here you go. This one, Leo. Peace. Peace and calm, finally. Do you want to know what's highly amusing? When you go to film a full day of eating and then it doesn't go to plan. Yesterday, after you guys saw me have the pasta salad, I was meant to have some yogurt, 200 grams of pineapple, nut butter and dark chocolate as like the rest of my final meal. But I don't want to go to bed on a full bloated stomach. That's not, that's not a vibe. So I actually only just had the dark chocolate and then I went to sleep, which means I'm like 250 calories down from yesterday. But the good thing is that I'd already hit my protein target the final remained a nice little bit that I have after my dinner, dinner part two slash dessert, is not actually for protein. It's literally for just enjoyment, for me to get in some extra calories. The thing that I've had questions from clients about before is, what do I do? Do I hit my protein target and go over my calorie intake if I still haven't quite hit my protein? Or if I don't want to eat, should I actually end up eating that final meal just to try and get my protein intake? It's nuanced right it's individual so the fact that this full day of eating didn't go to plan isn't necessarily a bad thing because you can learn something here i would never go to bed on a very very full stomach you need to allow at least 45 minutes as, as a very minimum for digestion but ideally you know 90 minutes for digestion so that you're not going to sleep on a full stomach because otherwise you will wake up feeling incredibly bloated uncomfortable your body won't digest that food appropriately so don't force feed yourself. If you've got lots of food to get in at the end of the day, just don't force feed, it's not worth it. If you are able to eat something, eat the protein. That's gonna be the most important and valuable part of what you consume. Strive not to miss your protein intake. If you have missed it, so be it. It's just one day, that's a drop in the ocean of you know your consistency throughout your fitness journey. With regard to what I did, which is I had a little bit and left the rest for either the next day or I can bank those calories and use them later on in the week because ultimately it doesn't necessarily matter if you've missed some calories, but still hit your protein target. You can use those calories for elsewhere in the week if you want to at social events, or otherwise you can just technically take it as a day in a bit of a deeper deficit. But if you've got performance focused goals, appreciate that your performance the next day might suffer a little bit if you've missed out on some carbs and fats. For me at this point in time, because the following day was a rest day, it didn't really matter uh, because I didn't need to have those extra carbs or extra glycogen stored to support me for my training session. And I'm in a bit of a body recomp phase. So if there's a few days where I'm having a little bit less calories, it's not the worst thing in the world because it will help to maintain that lean body composition that I'm looking for. So even though it didn't go to plan, hopefully you've learned something. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. As always, drop the video a like, leave a comment if you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Much love.